when the movie was new, a while ago, we saw Nope. Connor, what is the plot of Nope? Nope stars Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer in his Jordan Peele's newest movie. Um, strange things are happening on Daniel Kaluuya's ranch. And his father is killed. And it turns out fucking extraterrestrials sitting in a cloud. So him and a guy from Fry's Electronics and Kiki Palmer team up to record it. So Aiden, what did you think of Nope? It's good. Um, I feel like of Jordan Peele's films, uh, Get Out is really good. Us was trying a little too hard and this one's trying a lot less, which is a nice change of pace. It's a pretty simple movie. Uh, there's a UFO, and you slowly learn a little bit about it. The UFO is a very interesting design, as it's revealed to be. Basically, the organism is the UFO, uh, and it gets some very weird and cool scenes with the UFO, um, eating people and spitting out their remains and generally being kind of an asshole. Um, there is a little commentary there um, about like the exploitation of the film industry to an extent with the monkey thing and um, the horse thing at the very start and it's like the UFO only eats you if you look in its eye mouth thing. Uh, it's like a big camera that's watching everything. So. There's, there's some of that there, but it's not like... And with the cinematographer, dude. Yeah. It's not like us to the point where it's it completely drowns out the rest of the movie. Uh, it's some subtle narrative things on top of a fun, weird UFO movie. And UFO movies are a genre that essentially doesn't exist anymore, so... Having one that's so well shot and well made is a nice uh, comeback for this little subgenre. Um, I don't really have a lot to say. It's a pretty simple movie. Uh, it's it's weird. It's fun. Uh, it, uh, it all comes together really well. It's very well shot. Connor, what do you think of Nope? I honestly don't have a ton to add to what you said. I pretty much wholly agree with you. Um, it is at times a little bit uh, slow. Uh, I definitely don't like it as much as Get Out. I think Get Out's a really amazing movie. Um, but I could see how someone going in for like a horror movie would be disappointed with this, but it is supposed to be like a 50s UFO movie with that entertainment industry subtext. Mm -hmm. And for those reasons, I found it very interesting. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's well shot. There's good performances from everybody. Uh, I, like, don't have a ton to add to what you said. I think you co you covered it pretty well. Um, there really isn't a ton to say about it. Nope. It's a really good movie. It's worth a watch. Um, and I do like Jordan Peele kind of going out of his comfort zone more than, or not really comfort zone, but I like Jordan Peele exploring new ideas. Yeah. Rather than Us, which felt a little bit like... Get Out 2. Get Out again. Uh, he took more time on this one. Hit a genre that definitely isn't what it was in, like, the <laughs> 1950s. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it's a virtually non-existent... Even in the 90s, there was still... At least a couple of UFO movies coming yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, two thousand five had War, War of the Worlds. There's, there were the UFO part, it's movies. A, it's but, a pretty dead genre. <laughs> but this is very much like a fifties UFO movie, like The Blob oh, sure. or something like that, where yeah, where you have like this creature terrorizing a small town and a handful of people trying to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. um, it, it probably did closely resemble, closest resemble something like The Blob. Mm -hmm. In terms of pacing and <laughs> in terms of pacing and stuff, so 
Yeah, if you like fifties UFO movies and you like Jordan Peele, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a fan of this one. And I like both of those that person and that genre, subgenre mm -hmm. of movies. So yeah, I'd recommend it. So Aiden, would you recommend Yeah, Nope is nope. fun, simple, easy to watch. There's a couple really good scares, but I do think it is a little light on actual horror stuff. Right. Um, the moments that are scary are pretty damn good, but it's more just a fun throwback kind of weird movie. Uh, definitely worth watching. And uh, yeah.